Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back at SwapConf Internship Fair. This is our first internship fair, actually, our first edition. Pete Brady, hi, hello. How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm great, actually, and uh, I will ask you a few questions about internship, and I know that you have uh, a great experience in uh, relation to design, and uh, our segment is called design internship decoded so we can decode and decipher everything related to design so my first question is uh can you take us back to the very start of your career what's happening there what was your first internship uh that's way back uh which makes me sound very old now but it was back when i was probably 14 very young um and this was pre-internet so <laughs> It was a very different landscape in design and my first internship was in print and even wasn't even digital print so back in the days where you had the films and you had to layer up and uh make like plates for the printing uh yeah i mean it was intense it was a very fast moving environment i'd probably say slightly more brutal back then in terms of you were very much the t-boy um <laughs> Uh, you kind of learn things by being nosy. Uh, no one really kind of taught you much. You were kind of forced to engage to learn things by yourself, which I think is a, a very good way to kind of learn because you um, kind of thought you force yourself to interact with people at a young age in a workplace. Um, and I definitely learned a lot, definitely learned a lot. Um, and to be honest, I became quite addicted to work at a young age because I saw kind of how fast paced it was and how exciting it was to layer up different images and then it comes out in these beautiful colors and so yeah what do you think now i think it's a very um it's very different to obviously when i did uh internships because now there's so much information and so many people doing things and so many different ways to learn things um i think I personally think internships are still very valuable. I think people should be looking to do them. Um, but I also fully, fully agree that you should be in your own time learning things with YouTube videos, Figma tutorials, things like that. But that doesn't substitute for kind of the real world experience that you get. Um, yeah, I definitely think there's value in it and I don't think you should do it unpaid. I'm actually quite vocal about this, about unpaid internships. I think those days should be well and truly gone. I don't think anyone should be, you know, working for free. Um, and also on the flip side, I think there's a, a big onus on us as creative directors, seniors and agencies to actually value these interns as well. So we put a lot of pressure on interns to say, you need to do this, you need to do that. But what are we giving back to them? Um, so I, I've actually seen that shift in the past couple of years, more in the smaller studios. So you've been on the both sides of the table. Can you tell us a bit about your last intern? Uh, last intern I worked with was actually, actually went really well. Um, they were hungry from day one. They were, they had picked kind of the, the career path they wanted to go they definitely wanted to be in app design um and they were very keen on this but they brought so many ideas to the table um that you wouldn't necessarily expect from an intern because they haven't had that experience or um necessarily kind of dealt with in-depth user research and user needs but the way they approached problem yeah i I see a lot of portfolios um, and I see a lot of great portfolios. I think there is, uh, I think sites like Dribble have a lot to answer for in terms of, you know, there's always the shiny, beautiful UI. Um, but there's the one thing I see time and time again popping up in portfolios is kind of that. Um, there's no connection between the beautiful design and the user need. So it looks great, but you know, day to day functionality, or is this solving a problem or that particular problem of the brief? 
I, I always miss that connection. And it's always those portfolios that have that connection that really kind of, they're the ones that spark my interest. Um, I think it's very, I'll start by saying it's very specific to the person. I think there's obviously a lot of things in life in general that kind of dictate which way you go. Um, and I think there's no kind of right or wrong answer here. I mean, freelance, I will always be an advocate for people kind of working for themselves. Uh, finding clients is probably one of the hardest things. Um, keeping those clients is also difficult. And then you also need to produce the great work. And if you're on your own uh, freelancing, there's obviously that kind of lack of human connection. So you're not bouncing ideas around the studio. You're not uh, speaking with creative directors and photographers and other people. You're more kind of solitary in your research and what you know. So I think there's an advantage to full-time workers to be also more creative on other people's time. So you kind of, you can make your mistakes and it's not the be all and end all. Uh, when you're freelance, obviously those mistakes are your mistakes and you have to own them. But I think, and this is, I would just be biased. I think freelance is, is a beautiful way to make a career. Uh, I think it's been very good to me. I think I've been very lucky over the years to be able to freelance. And I see now a lot of great freelancers uh, coming out of full-time jobs. So I think there's no right or wrong way to do it. You can go freelance from day one. I mean, you're obviously probably going to struggle a little bit because you've not had that experience in a studio uh, and kind of learned that inv invaluable experience in a studio. Um, and then I think you can also work at a studio for 10, 20 years. And if you want to go freelance, you've, you know, you've had that knowledge. You've got a, a hell of a lot of experience to, to apply to a freelance job and you've got the contacts, hopefully. So. Yeah, I think our interview kind of becomes, uh, became too real. And now I'll ask you the hard questions. So. Uh, I know, how can you explain to interns, to young professionals, to students that probably this could be their first career opportunity, that design and working in design is kind of uh, subjective? And how can you make them agree with the aesthetics of the creative director? That's an interesting question. Um, I agree with the aesthetics of the creative director. I think uh, you obviously need to be respectful of like someone that's been around the block and done a lot of things uh, and of the studio's style, goals, client needs. Uh, as you said, design is very, very subjective and everyone has their own take on it and everyone knows or thinks they know design. Um, but I think you need to be open to the, the feedback, the beautiful things that are coming out of studios should kind of inspire you to want to kind of dig in deeper. And can you give any advice in, uh, the perspective of, uh, creating design to students and young professionals? Um, students and new professionals, I think try everything. Uh, I think I won't get into like a deep conversation about design uh, education, but I think there is a trait in design education that you kind of design for a certain outcome or a certain grade. Um, and I don't think that lends itself very well to the real world. I think there's uh, there's obviously a world of opportunity for young designers now. Um, I think there's also a, a trait in design or in my kind of area of design, um, in like apps and web and streaming that everyone's kind of doing the same thing. I think there needs to be a lot of young designers, especially explore everything, come up with these beautiful, crazy ideas. Yeah, there's definitely just explore everything, absorb everything. You don't need to have a definitive style. Everyone talks about, you know, this designer has this style, but that style has evolved over 
so many years and so many different briefs and clients and studios um just yeah have fun with it don't take it too seriously <laughs> <laughs> that's a great final words for our interview so thank you for being here thank you for joining our internship fair